So hi everyone, I am Harsh uh, and I'm pursuing biotech and engineering physics from IIT Roorkee. And today I will go, uh, I'm going to show you how to calculate the factorial of a given number in a 085 simulator. First, I will share with you the flowchart and the next and the next I will share with you the code in the simulator. So uh, to start with, let's first uh, understand what a factorial of a number is. So we all know that factorial of a number n is the product of all numbers from one to that number. So let's say uh, factorial of, if we have to calculate the factorial of four, we will multiply one with into two into three into four, which will give us 24. Uh, in 805 simulator, we cannot directly multiply all the numbers. Like we cannot directly multiply four into three to get 12. Uh, we can only add the numbers. So uh, on the top, you can see uh, this small implementation uh, which will be performed using code in the simulator so first uh, i will be adding one uh, four times which will give me four then uh, next i will be adding three uh, four three times which will give me 12 then 12 will be added two times to give 24 and finally 24 will be added single time to give 24. so this is how uh, uh, a factor factorial of a number is calculated uh, in simulator. So uh, uh, I have taken two uh, counters into account. The first is B, uh, counter B, and the second one is counter C. Uh, the counter B takes count, uh, keeps count of uh, all these single lines that are executing. So in the factorial of four, there are four lines that are executing. Uh, similarly, in uh, calculation of factorial six, uh, we, we will have single, uh, six lines that will be executing. And then next, uh, the C counter uh, keeps count of e the single operation, like uh, this addition operation that is being performed in each line. So uh, the in like, for example, in first line, C counter will be equal to four since four times its addition operation is being done. So um, next, uh, in the next block, we can see, uh, so uh, first to start with, we have set, we will set B equal to N, N which is, uh, N is the number of which factorial is to be calculated. So let's say four. So we'll first set B equal to four. Uh, then we will initialize D with uh, one, D which stores a value of the factorial. Next, uh, HL is the address of the input number and uh, C is the second counter. So in the second block, we can see, uh, we have set C equal to B. Since uh, B was equal to four, C will be equal to four in this case. Next, uh, we initialize A with zero. Then the value of D is added to A and C is decremented by one each time. And the next uh, decision block, uh, which checks whether C is equal to zero. If it is not equal to zero, then it will keep adding D to A and decrementing C by one. If it is true, it will further move to the next block. So uh, since uh, D was equal to one and C was equal to four. This loop will be executed four times since uh, it will take four times to decrement C to zero. So D will, which is which is equal to one, will be added to A four times. So on adding uh, D four times to A uh, with A which was equal to zero initially, uh, after addition it will become four. So A equal to four and C equal to zero. Now uh, this uh, block will be true. In the next block we set d equal to a a which was equal to 4 now d will also be will be equal to 4 now in the next block we decrement b by 1 b which initially was 4 now after decrementing it will become 3 now this decision box checks whether b is equal to 0 uh, if it is true the process will end and if it not then it will go back to this um, block where c equal to b since uh, c is equal to 3 now uh, this code will be executed again uh, the, now we will set c equal to b c will be equal to 3 and this loop will be executed three times since it will take three times to decrement c to 0 and d will be added three times to a now since we had already set d equal to 4 in the last case so 4 will be added three times to the initialized 0 value of a and on addition of 4 three times to a uh, we will have 12 uh, then C will be become 0, D will be set to A, which is 12, B will be decremented, which will become equal to 2. And again, this uh, block will be executed. Now, since C is equal to B, which is equal to 2, 2 times this loop will be executed. Uh, 
two times d will be added to a d which was 12 so 12 plus 12 will give 24 now again uh, d will be set to 24 b will become 1 on decrementing and for the last time this will be executed uh, and on last and the last time uh, it will take only one round to decrement c to 0 and d will be added single time which uh, which will give 24 and finally d will be set to a which will be 24 and b will e become equal to 0 and this uh, decision block will be true and this process will end so this was with the basic flowchart of how we calculate the factorial of a number uh, in step by step now let's understand the code so uh, in the code we have first initialized the address location uh, of the input number um, which is 2500h lxi h 2500h initializes the address location next uh, the code mov b comma m which means uh, move the value of uh, memory which move the value of number which uh, of which that is in factorial is to be calculated to b so b will become equal to the value of the number now next is mvi d 0 comma 1 h we initialize the register d uh, with value 1 now uh, we will call a loop in this loop uh, there are three instructions call fact which will call the subroutine decrement b which will decrement the value of b and this uh, j and z loop one which means continue uh, implementing this loop until the value of b is equal to zero so the first instruction call fact will call the subroutine fact now let's see what uh, this subroutine is in the fact subroutine the first uh, instruction is mov c comma b which means the move the value of b to c C will become equal to B. The next we initialize value of A to 0. And after that, loop 2 is called. Uh, in loop 2, uh, the value of D is added to A and value of C is decremented. And this next instruction, J and Z loop 2, which means continue implementing this loop until the value of C becomes equal to 0. So this D will be added uh, as long as C is decremented. And after this loop is over, we will move the value of a to d uh, d will become equal to a and we will uh, from this uh, code ret will return to the main function in the main function uh, after calling the subroutine we will decrement b uh, b will be decremented and since uh, it is not equal to zero after uh, uh, this uh, first calling uh, this loop will be executed so, uh, till it becomes equal to zero and after that uh, the next instruction inx h will which will be uh, which means increment the pointer to the next element uh, so we will move to the uh, next uh, address location which is two which is 2501 and uh, the next uh, instruction which is mov m comma d which moves the value of d to memory d stores the factorial value and finally this memory will have this address location will have uh, the factorial value and this halt to uh, stop the entire process. So on the right side, we can see um, the address location 2500 uh, has the data 5. Uh, 5 is the number of which uh, factorial is to be calculated. And the next address, which is 2501, has the data 120, which is equal to 5 factorial. So this code has been executed perfectly as we desired it to be. And this was it. Thank you so much.